This is possibly a what? Big one, little one. Big one, little one. So here you're seeing like a four inch, maybe a three inch reduced pressure zone backflow preventer. If the building goes into a negative pressure, water starts to backflow through these, through this check, uh, it's gonna dump through this discharge as a drain. So when we're talking about RPZs, a reduced pressure zone backflow preventer, always look, this one here is like very, very, it's like in your face. And once you get used to looking at them, this one here, it's also in your face. That's an air gap fitting, a lot of talk about air gaps, but in a backflow condition, again, it's gonna hit the checks, Rather than go into the potable water, it's going to dump to the strain. They can be a pain in the ass. Fluctuations in the water distribution system in a building, the valve will start doing it. It thinks something's wrong if it's feeling fluctuations on the downstream side because there's this is designed for a specific pressure drop. If it feels like a 5 PSI pressure drop on this side, it'll start to dump. It'll go, shit, there's a pressure drop. We're starting to get drawback. Dump. Don't go that way. Dump. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but if you go to the certification course, you will ace. You'll be aces at um, testing and understanding reduced pressure zone backflow preventers. Because all these devices, RPZs like this one, have to be tested two times a year. You cannot install one as a plumber until it gets registered. All of them have a serial plate, a serial number and a model number plate that has to be registered with the DEP before you can even think about installing it. You install one of these, or you're gonna to get to install one of these, you also need what they call a design data sheet. Design data sheet is, okay, where, what type of device are you using? What's the serial number? What's the size of it? Where is it going? Because these are very, very specific Locations, you just can't put those anywhere you want. They have to be between 36 and 42 inches off the floor. Has to be a foot off the wall. This one wasn't. Sometimes the DEP will give you like a little bit of a break before you even apply for a plumbing permit to install an RPZ of any size because it has to be accorded with the state so that they know that somebody's annually testing it. There you go. Most cities and towns now have a designee from the DEP right in their water department office.